Hello friends, Osiris here and this 7 star terror raid event for Embor is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of the raid as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So the Embo event is running from June the 14th as of recording this video over this weekend until the 16th. That'll be the first phase that we do see it run and it will return the following weekend from the 21st of June until the 23rd for its second phase out. That second time around as well will be accompanied by those Blissey Terror Raids. So the information on Embo, it's going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability Reckless, which gives a 20% boost to any recoil damage in attacks. You can see we've got a bunch of those in its move pool with flare blitz being one of them it does have access to drain punch wild charge head smash and then the additional moves it's going to have is bulk up and then heat crash interestingly heat crash does not get the boost from reckless though uh, it will have the mightiest mark it can never be shiny and it will have the electric terror typing of course it will have a brave nature as well no held item it can only be caught once per save file so just bear that in mind uh, the interactions for the raid are quite interesting. 90% of its HP remaining, the shield will activate either that or when 80% of the time is remaining. Then it's going to nullify our stats only once throughout the raid, and that is on 90% of the time remaining. And 80% of the raid is going to remove its stat drops on its side of the field. Again, it'll do that when it's at 55 of its HP remaining. Uh, on 40% it's going to use double bulk up, so two bulk ups, and then on 20% of its health remaining it will use a heat crash as well. As always, you're going to get a nice array of items, you're going to get HP ups, you're going to get large and XL candies, electric terror shards and ability patches, but most importantly, again, we're going to see those drops for Herba Mystica. All five different Herba Mysticas have a 3% chance to drop when this raid is beaten. Like I say, the Embo running this weekend from the 14th until the 16th of June. So to access the raid in your game, you're going to need to come to your Poker Portal. Make sure you are online, then come down to Mystery Gifts and then check Poker Portal News. This will update all of the terror raid dens in the map. And then you want to come onto your map and you'll be looking for the terror raid den that looks like this with the electric type terror symbol and the build that we're featuring in today's video is one that we featured in the preview video earlier this week and it is going to be armor rouge surprise surprise so the armor rouge is going to be threatened by the head smash but we do have ways to get around that it's going to be set to level 100 it will be hyper changed so just make sure that all of those ivs are set to 31. The terror type is going to be ground the shell bell is going to be the held item and the move set is going to be iron defense acid spray calm mind scorching sands it is worth noting that scorching sands is a tm only accessible in the dlcs the indigo disc it is tm 215 if you don't have the dlcs then you could revert to something like terror blast it's not going to be as optimal but it is going to give you kind of similar results if you don't have access to scorching sands for your armor rouge with the ability flash fire and then the EV spread of 252 HP EVs, 252 in defense, and the remaining EVs put into special attack with a modest nature. So that is the moveset. It will be down in the description as always. We'll jump into the raid now and I'll show you how easy it can be to take on the Embo with this Armor Rouge. You come into the raid against the Embo, you're going to see no turn zero like previous seven star terror raid Pokemon. You're just going to go into it clean, one turn for one turn. Now, if you do have an Intimidator like we've got here with a Star Raptor, it is going to massively help and kind of drop that attack on the Embo by one stage every time that it does enter the field. So it does help out massively. Not necessary though. Turn one, we're going to lock in with an Iron Defense. It's going to boost our defense by two stages, make it easier to take these head smashes as we go further forward in the match because that's what the embo is going to lock in with other thing with head smash to note is that it isn't the best of accuracy so rng in your favor it can miss turn two we're going to lock in with the scorching sands and now we're chasing down our terrestrialization the quicker we get to the point where we can terrestrialize into our ground type the better scorching sands also has a 30 percent chance to burn the target pokemon so you can get lucky with rng here and you can burn the embo reducing the damage even further you can see how helpful the intimidate is coming out from that star raptor as well we're going to lock in turn three with another scorching sands and even closer to our terrestrialization and there we go we do get the burn here so this is going to happen sometimes when you go into the raid sometimes it won't it's not essential to have that intimidate partnering pokemon 
uh, it does definitely make it easier and you can see the head smash is going to miss there as well now turn three the shield is going to go up it's going to nullify the stat boosts on our side of the field so this is where you really need to take note because we're very close to being able to trash slice but we're not quite there yet so after the shield goes up after it's nullified the stats on our side of the field I want to lock in with another iron defense here because it is going to throw a head smash it is going to do decent damage to us as well it does hit of course we get very lucky there it does miss now we are going to launch off our third scorching sands here again you can get lucky because it can burn through the shield it does reduces that damage even further um and even if you get knocked out it's not the end of the world you still be able to execute this plan in the head smash you can see intimidates are helping so much so that's kind of preferably what you would look for when you're coming into the raid here now it is going to remove negative effects from its side of the field but that's fine as we can now terrestrialize and we can try and get our final two iron defenses off because we want to get our defense to plus six it's going to make it so much easier for the rest of this match it's not going to nullify any stat drops on our side of the field for the rest of this raid we may as well try for the next few turns and just get ourselves set up to the maximum before we start launching off any offensive attacks onto that side of the field now we'll go for that iron defense here it's going to put a defense to plus four see another head smash come out but because we are a ground type we've got good health as well at the moment not in any danger of getting knocked out and we'll go for that third and final iron defense as well that'll put our defense to plus six next we're going to concentrate and going for those calm mines we want to get our special attack up to plus six and you can see the raid timer as well it is pretty good in healthy shape so we've got plenty of time to be able to do this and we are going to just start going for these calm mines now the only thing to think about throughout this setup for these six calm mines that we're going to be going for keeping an eye on your health so health is getting low at any point just lock in with the scorching sands try and get some hp back and that'll just put you in a better shape to get these six calm mines set up so we'll be right back we'll speed through getting these six calm mines set up Okay, here is our sixth calm mine. So that's going to put our special attack, special defense to plus six. So it means that we're going to be hitting a lot harder with our scorching sands. And the only thing to kind of consider now is that the Embo is going to reset its stat drops once again when it's 55% of its health remaining. So we can go for these acid sprays now. It's not close to that. It will reduce the special defense on the Embo by two stages every time you use this. And then we're going to be able to do some big damage once we've got these three acid sprays off. So there is a lot of setup here. Um, and we might have to go through the setup with the acid sprays again after that 55% when it does nullify the stat drops on its side of the field. But that's super fine. We're going to be in a really good solid position. Uh, health, you can see, even after those six car mines, we've not taken a lot of damage. The raid timer is just a below half. So we're going to be close enough to knocking it out very soon so you don't need to worry about that even though it looks a little bit low at this stage especially with the shield still intact right there is our third acid spray so the minus six defense on the embo and we're in a good spot now to start launching off those scorching sands getting some health back with that shell bell as well which is going to put us in a prime position to close out this raid so that is all the hard work kind of done at this stage lock in with the scorching sands and you could even go for an attack chair if you wanted at this stage, but you kind of don't need to. You can see the damage that we're doing here just below knocking out the raid. We're going to get all our health back, and then the next turn, we're going to be able to knock the shield out. Now, we can go for... You can see the, the nullified stats there on that 55% of its health, and we can go for another acid spray here to break the shield and um, lower that special defense as well. So you get a token bonus freeze there on the embo but as soon as you use the scorching sands that'll thaw it out so I'm sure it will be able to move nonetheless so you can go for another three acid sprays here if you want this will just speed up the end of the raid of course we have had a lot of rng in our favor but like i say it's not necessary i have run through the embo a bunch of times with this armor rouge even without the intimidators you might get knocked out early on in the raid 
but the rest of the raid once your stats have been nullified once you can terrestrialize you're going to be able to get those iron defenses set up and then the calm mines and then the acid sprays and then from then on you're going to be able to clean the raid up pretty easily so we've used two acid sprays here so it is down to minus four and we're just going to lock in with the scorching sands just to make sure that we beat the raid timer here it's not the quickest way to beat m board is pretty thick but uh, it is a pretty consistent strategy to go through the rng is going to help you out the head smash misses the having the intimidate partner pokemon like i say not massively essential you're going to see towards the end of the raid though the double bulk up from the end board it's not really going to affect us too much at this stage because of the iron defenses because of the intimidate that we've got and then it is going to launch off a heat crash as well so if it is targeted into us then it's not really going to affect us because of that flash fire ability and we're going to be able to lock in with that final scorching sands and it is going to be enough to clean up the embo and we've got a little bit of time left on the raid but i feel like the armor rouge in the early game is probably going to be the most important stage of it getting that terrestrialization activated getting the iron defense off um, but it's preferable to have an Intimidator when you come into the raid. It will make things so much easier for you just to execute this strategy with the Armor Rouge, even though the Head Smash seems like a bit of an issue and you'll be able to reap the rewards and it is as easy as that. A little bit slower than maybe some of the other raids, but a very good strategy nonetheless. And of course, once you finish the raid, if you want to do this again in form for those Herba Mysticas, you can press your home menu, you can come down to your system settings and then down into system. Then down into date and time and toggle through the options here come back into your game and then you're going to see all of the dens respawn on your map you'll just be able to locate the seven star turret den wherever it is on your map and then head over to it and then you'll be able to take it on to farm for her mystica hopefully the video has been useful if it has do drop a like it really does help out the video and help it share it around in the community of course as well if you have got your own builds that have been successful in soloing this in game do share them down in the comment section below so the community can help out and benefit from it as well do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our raid builds and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of those videos when they do go up but thank you so much for tuning into today's video if you are farming over the weekend, this event for the Herba Mysticus, good luck with it. I hope you have a lot of luck with those drops. And with that, I will say goodbye. Have a lot of fun with the event and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.